I'm terrestrializing my Pokemon. Uh, hey guys, it's me, Lil Surfetched, and welcome back to the Indigo Disc DLC of Scarlet and Violet. Um, I'm just completing some barbecues right now. I've been literally calling them barbecues because they are... The, the, the abbreviation for it is literally BBQ. So I've been calling them barbecues. Uh, but... Yeah, I've done a lot of barbecues. I need to catch a fairy typing. And I have some ideas for what we're going to do today. Uh, we're not going to really continue the story because I think continuing the story requires me to fight. Like, actually freaking fight the Elite Four members. And I really don't feel like doing that. So we're just going to mess around in the school a little bit. We're going to go unlock a feature that I that I want to use. Possibly work on some of these quests along the way. Uh, I've worked a little on my Pokedex. I need to find a fairy typing. Come on. Why are fairy typing so hard to find? Alright, um, hi there, Bravo. Um, I have worked on leveling up my team in between episodes. I've got them up to like high level 80s, except for freaking. freaking Pat, who just was low level the entire time and is still low level. But I have been getting a lot of rare candies and stuff from the ground, so I'm probably going to be able to level them up a little bit. So I've decided I kind of want a starter to be my final Pokemon. I don't know how to unlock them. I am assuming it's through that battle point thing where you can unlock more biodiversity in areas. And if that's the case... If I can get 3,000 points, I can unlock Biodiversity in the area, get a starter, and I'd want a Fire Starter. One of the Fire Fighting Starters um, would be cool, Blaziken or Embor. But I don't exactly know which one to even upgrade. Right, come on, there's gotta be a fairy type in here somewhere. Oh no, I think the fairy type is up here. The fairy type in Pokemon is up here. Because I know there's Whimsicott. I also found out in between episodes that a freaking Geodude counts. The freaking Geodude counts as, like, a flying Pokemon. A Pokemon that's flying. Which is just hilarious. Because, like, I guess it technically counts as it's, like, levitating off the ground. Like, it's flying! Ooh, what was my hard quest? It's just, like, the Posey Picker Pokemon. Uh, totally. Okay, defeat 30 Pokemon using, uh, auto battle. That is not hard, it's just very time-consuming. Like, it's just a very time-consuming quest, but it's not hard. We just gotta sit here and let it happen. So yeah, I need to go... Uh, in this episode, I need to go to the Central Plaza because there is a feature that I want to unlock there. So 
so we're gonna head there. And on the way, we're gonna murder some Pokemon. Uh, where is the Central Plaza? I have no clue. I actually legitimately have no clue where it is. I know it's in the center, but I don't know which direction that is. No, you stupid crab! Leave me alone! This does help too, because it lets me get some experience and stuff. <gasps> oh, shiny! <laughs> shiny! Let's go! It's not a new shiny, but I will take it. Boom! Two episodes in a row with shinies. Okay, what was I doing? Before the game decided it wanted to give me that shiny. Oh, could it be I was beating up helpless Pokemon? I assume if I just follow this, I should make it to the center. That probably would be the smart idea, just to follow this path. Come on. Beat yourself, beat up your friends. At least until you complete the... the 10 one. Or don't, that's great. <sighs> you are one away, are you kidding me? You stupid. Okay, this one's easy to do. Just travel over 500 yards. Oh, Smeargle tired. Aww. I want to see what uh, Smeargle gives me. Uh, Smeargle paint. Does, um, what's its face? Grafii give me, um, whatever, whatever its pre evolved form is. Uh, shoot, I can't remember the pre evolved form. No, why can't I mem remember it? Come on, we're close. I'm close to the amount of things that I want. Boom, boom, boom. 2700. Uh, ooh, Pokemon in flight? <sighs> yes, please. See, these quests are pretty easy, uh, defeating. The, the easier ones are better to do. Uh, take a photo of a flying but I literally just did that. I assume there's still my Brava here.
Oh no, Pom Pom. You got one out, buddy. Time to switch gears. Oh, yes. I know you can freaking beat him up. Don't do that to me. Catch a Pokemon. There's nothing new here, so we'll just move on. Uh, you know what? I'm, like, legitimately getting distracted st again. Is that the Electrizer? No, that's a new item. Or item I already have. Uh, okay, let me just continue to follow this until we get to the center puzzle, which is right here. You know, while I'm headed over here, I might as well take a picture of a Pokemon in the craggy area. Then we'll catch Tyrog, and then we'll move on. We'll move on to to different sites. I think it's in the central plaza is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the synchro machine. And my friend has already unlocked it, and I think he said it was in the center plaza. Or the synchro machine is what it's called, right? Getting pretty close to three thousand. Come on, come on, come on. It's literally right over there. I'm sorry, I have to look, okay, we'll be we'll be we'll take a photo. Boom, boom. Okay. No, 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 no more. Okay. Okay. Look, I got one that's already going on, so no more. I also found a shiny in between episodes. I found a shiny dugong. It was pretty easy to see, so pretty, pretty good shiny to find. Okay. Um, where am I supposed to be going here? My phone's almost dead. Well, my phone is dead, so... <sighs> Just trying to find a dude that's gonna give me, like, red text. Okay. I love my roto stick, yay! Or, not red text, but green, uh, yellow text. I don't know what colors are anymore. Yeah, there we go. Ah, the uh, euphoria of synchronization. Oh, hello there. My name is Sinclair. I'm quite the outstanding researcher, you know. Would you like to help me out by pra participating in an amazing experiment I'm working on? That's the spirit. Let's head over to the test area, then. You'll need to have a Pokemon out of its ball for this experiment. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, who do we want to be? Let's be... Janelle. Yes. Synchronize! Your mind and feelings are now synchronized with those of your Pokemon. 
Now that you're all synced up, your Pokemon will move as directed by your thoughts. Let's start with the movement test. There's a tree in front of your Pokemon. Try moving over there. Oh, this is so weird. This is so weird. Ah, yes, you're so in sync. I was able to get some very useful data from that session. Thank you so much. Aw, oh, thank you, you're the best. I'll give you something really nice afterwards. Okay, um, so let me just send you back out, and then... Yes. Let's do this! Uh, okay. It's been given by a battle test. Um, uh, ooh, attack. Oh, this is so weird. This is so weird. Being able to attack as a Pokemon. Yes, I got the Synchro Machine. It's still a prototype, so its design may look a little uninspiring. But you can use it to synchronize wherever you want. Try it out with lots of different Pokemon. Uh, hold the hold down the L button, then press the right button to begin synchronizing. Okay. Okay. But I have to have a Pokemon out, I think. So what was the quest I unlocked? Yeah, no, we're not doing that one. Okay, take a photo of a wild steel type. That's easy. Where is Beldum? Where's Beldum? Hi, Lapras. How you doing? Coming onto the shore to say hi. Oh my gosh, I do not like this. Ooh, actually, I could also do... I don't think... I think Excadrill is steel type. I don't think uh, Drillbur is... So I'd have to find Excadrill. Oh. Well, hello. Uh, yeah, so if you, like, run over these things, like, you get electrified, and I don't know if that does anything, or it's just a cool little aesthetic thing. <gasps> there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I got you. We did it! We got to 3,000. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, so now we can go to... Where's the school? So over... Where's the school? Where is the uh, school? There it is. Okay, so... So we can go, and I'm going to assume that the savanna is what I want. I would like to go to the Leak Club Room. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. I'm going to go to the computer. 
and let's see if this works. Oh, I can't even look up on my phone, so we're just gonna have to... We're just gonna have to hope. Uh, we're fine tuned. Uh, you can use WP, real greatest bits of betting, new Pokemon are there, including Wild Charmander! Uh -huh. So this is how you unlock the starters. I knew it. I knew that's how you did it. <laughs> I figured out. I figured that's how you would do it. So is it just going to be Wild Charmander? Or is it going to be other starters? Because if it's just going to be Charmander, I might just choose a different fire type to add to my team. But we'll, we'll look around. We'll take a look around and see what this has to offer. There's Charmander! Hi, buddy! I think it might just be Charmander. I don't know, that kinda is... Uh... This Charmander's not new! Charmander was already in the game! <gasps> Rowlet! It's not just Charmander. Okay. So I just gotta keep looking. Because there's Rowlet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's gotta be one of the fire starters I'm wanting here. I know you. I know, I know, I know. Don't think you can fool me. Is that all that there really is to the savannah? Is just this grassy area? I don't know, but it did work like I thought it was going to. It did give me starters spawning, so... I am happy about that. I am glad that, that... That was my theory, was that that's what that did. And my theory was correct. Just gonna take a little look around first. Hello, Vibrava. Because even Rowlet is not new either, so, like, both those options aren't helping me out right now. What the heck? Oh, it's a Vibrava. I was like, what the heck is sleeping there? Hi, buddy. Wait, does that mean I can, like, get feathers from Rowlet, or is that not gonna give me anything? They don't give me anything. Okay. I thought they might, but I was wrong. You gotta be wrong sometimes. It's okay. 
It can't be right all the time. I would have thought the Savannah, but I guess I was not in the right ballpark. Oh, I'm at a Flygon outbreak. That's why there's so many freaking Flygons budding here. I was like, why is there so many Flygon? I mean, at least I did unlock a fire type. Unfortunately, both the starters that I've unlocked here so far are literally ones that I have already been in the game. Dang it. I could go for Magmar, but it's just I'd have to do a trade evolution. I don't feel like doing that right now. <sighs> well, I at least confirmed one theory, so I'm happy with that. I figured this out, at least on my own. Ooh, there's more over here. Yeah, there's more of an area over here. Maybe that'll lead to something. Ooh, water area. Three starters that have already been in the Okay, this is just mocking me at this point. Like, I'm just being mocked at this point. Four starters that are in the game already! <laughs> fine, 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 that's how you wanted to play. <sighs> Dang it. Uh, I don't know what else I want to do now, though. Uh, I guess what we can do is just... You might as well try to take on one of the Elite Four members. Man, that's like very upsetting to me that all the starters I've unlocked here have already been in the game. I think next I'd have to go for the craggy area. I feel like that would be the next best bet to unlock a starter. That or I could just reset the game, but I have no idea where I last saved, so... I kind of don't want to do that, plus I'd have to replay through some st the stuff I did in this episode, so... Just gonna cut our losses. And we're just gonna work back up to where I failed. Okay, so what, what really can I do? Could I... 
Hmm. I want to, first off, I want to check out one thing. See if... I wanted to see if the great creator of Caldea would say anything different. I guess not. Uh, what what do I have? We can, what, what can I deal with? We've got fairy. Mm -hmm. Fairy, fire. Dragon and steel are the four typings. I feel like the best bet would go for fire. Taking on the fire guy. Wherever he is. You know the dragon. I assume you'd be in here. Uh, yeah. No, from Verbank City. Oh! Snivy! How you doing? Uh, finally, a starter that's not already been in the game. Granted, it's not a fire type. It's a repeat typing, but that's still something different. Oh no. I think I might. In my main playthrough, I'm going to have to unlock the one of the other two areas because I need to find out where Totodile is. Because on my main playthrough of this game, I am having Totodile on my team. I don't care how long it takes me to get him on the team. He's going to be on the team. Okay, so where in the world are you, sir? Where's my items? Okay, I need... First off, I need a ground move that's not Earthquake, because that's just... That's just not being helpful right now. Um, Scorching Sands... Yeah, that might not be a bad move. You freaking klutz! Are you kidding me? Where's my ability capsules? I'm changing that. Alright. And then literally nothing on my team is gonna resist fire typing. I mean, I can send out you. You two will be probably the best ones to deal with this. Probably the best ones to deal with it. I need to find the metal alloy because I think that's the item for my buddy down here, Duraludon. Okay, I don't know. Oh, I can just fly over here. <laughs> Why have I just been walking? 
Oh, uh, it is a little Skarmory carrying it. My friend told me that the fly thing was Skarmory carrying you. That's so adorable. Talk to me for the Elite Trial. Welcome to the Savannah Plaza. We're the team that supports Crispin of the Elite Four. And you're Fetch, right? One of the BB League challengers. You need to hand over fit. Oh, oh. I forgot about that. I, uh, mm, hold on. Hold on. I, uh, hold, hold on. Hold on. I, um, hmm. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna figure it out, I swear. I didn't think this through, I forgot you had to have battle points for, uh, for Blueberry points. She freaking said barbecue points. Oh man, whatever am I gonna do? How am I gonna get through this? Oh, I know. Uh, smear gold. No, actually, no. Uh, what's a Pokemon I haven't caught yet? Uh, what is a Pokemon I haven't caught yet? I've caught you, Rowlet. I know I've caught you. <laughs> Welcome to a round of I don't know what I've caught, so I'm just running around blind. Okay, um... If there's a Rhyhorn, I know I haven't caught the- there we go. I've caught that, apparently. But we'll catch another one. Just because I feel like it. I need the- I need the blueberry points, so... Oh, come on. Oh, great, I'm not in the freaking area where I like that. Why did I not think about this? I didn't think about this well enough. I didn't think this through, but now I'm kinda screwed. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hello, sir. Okay, screw you. I'm gone now. I'm gone now. Goodbye. Okay, uh, where am I going? Whee! I have your battle points. I mean, your blueberry points. Hey, Crispin, an order's just come in for you. Coming right up. Oh, hey, I saw you in the cafeteria. You're fetch, right? Just the person to get my energy pumping. Now I feel like I'm cooking in a nice summer over here. At a nice summer over here. At a nice simmer. But we gotta move somewhere else for this next part. Follow me. Oh, hello, Magmortar. I've been waiting for a fiery challenger like you. Taking on the Elite Four pretty much right after coming to our school. Now, that's lit. No wonder Kieran and Drayton like you. And if I'm being honest, you've kindled my curiosity, too. I should warn you, though, my trail is no cakewalk. 
My trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich. And I mean super spicy. I want something so hot it'll have me breathing flames. Uh, you can't use your own ingredients. You have to negotiate with the League Club members around here to get what you need. Once you think you have all the right ingredients, come back and talk with me. Uh, the key to cooking any dish is picking the right ingredients. The rest is as easy as pie. Uh, yeah, I guess. So I can't use my own ingredients. I probably have to fight the people. Okay. Super spicy sandwich. We got this. We got this. Elite trial. Make a super spicy sandwich. Mm. Chili sauce. Okay. Uh, shoot. Okay, I need to find cucumber. No. Uh, once you get. Okay, screw you then. Mayonnaise. Okay. Okay, I'll battle you. I'll battle you. Ooh, Torkoal and Blossom. I kind of forgot that the battles here were double battles. <laughs> um, I kind of forgot that a little bit. No! Is this the is this actually the Elite Four theme? Da -da -da -da. I don't know if it is, but it it's a familiar theme. Oh dang it, I don't know if it's the Elite Four theme. Pom pom no. It might be actually. Because I know it's a theme from Black and White that it's definitely the next it. I don't know if it's the Elite Four theme, though. But I know, like, the sound of the theme. I can, like, play it in my head right now. Man, it's gonna bother me if I can't figure that. Oh, come on, Janelle. Oh, come on, Janelle. Come on, Janelle. 
And I can't look it up either because my phone is dead. No, 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 no. It might, it could also just be a generic trainer battle theme. That might be it too. Like it could be just the trainer battle theme. That would be my second guess. Uh, you're a jalapeno worthy trainer. Thank you, man. Okay, um, I can't. Dang it. Trade you a jalapeno. <sighs> Dang it! Beat me for potato salad. My nice. Are you Patrick? Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> instrument. Pyroar and Pyroar. Are you ghost typing? No, yeah, you're ghost typing. I swear, if you put both of us to sleep. Boom! Let's go! Two and one for the kill. I will be taking your mayonnaise now. Thank you. What have I done? What have I done? Okay. I was like, excuse me. Potatoes have it. I could do that. Camera and Electros. Oh, great. You don't have any weaknesses, Electros. That's just great. Well, then, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that then. Ooh, forgot I can trust toys. Oh, that is so awesome how it, like, the inside of him glimmers. That's kind of cool. Oh, of course. Yeah. 
good. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, you suck. Uh... You suck. Uh, just you suck. No, wait, hold on. Hold on. Um, because I know you'll be faster, you can kill Electros, and then you can psychic on Kirmpuff, and that should do a lot of damage. That way, you won't be able to use Giga Dragon. <laughs> Boom! Let's go! Give me some potato salad. Thank you very much. I'll be taking some potato salad. And then, uh, I can give it to you, because you want the potato salad. There you go. Onion, cucumber, and prosciutto. Okay, uh... When you get, when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar, is it mayonnaise? Cruet of olive oil, a cruet of vinegar. Okay, what do you want? Yes, I will trade you for the chili sauce. What do you want? Prosciutto and olive oil. I feel like I have enough. I feel like I have enough. No, no, no. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take off the onion and then I'm gonna the chili sauce. Boom. <laughs> yeah, this should be an extra spicy sandwich. Two orders of jalapenos and chili sauce. No doubt. Seems a little more heat, just a pinch more to get a good amount of spice going. Oh, do I have to do the entire trial over again? Are you kidding me? Okay, maybe then this will be it. 
so we got chorizo, two jalapenos, chili sauce, and mustard. If this is not it, then I'm gonna be upset. Come on. This has got to be it. Come on. Come on. Boom. It didn't even fall off. Okay, that's got to be a spicy sandwich. Mmm, look at my beautiful sandwich. It's so beautiful. You can't even tell that it's falling apart. Yeah, there we go. I can tell the spicy souls of the world all agree with me. You put spicy ingredients to good use. Me, I could have handled something a bit spicier, really, but it was still good. And that means you passed my elite trial. No problem at all. I did it! Gonna enjoy the tingle on my tongue as we head back to the plaza. Oh, we're going straight into the battle? Well, that wraps up the trial, so it's time for, to face me in an elite battle. Y'all prepped and ready to take me on? No. Yeah, can I, like, have a split second? Uh, let me see if I have, like, a twisted spoon or something in my bag for you. Um, I don't have a twisted spoon. That's weird. Uh, I can give you the wise glasses. <coughs> Okay. And then, do I have enough terror shards to change you to the ground type? Oh yeah, I should. Um, finally, a feature that I've not used at all yet. But, we can go to... Not Kaskarafa. Med... Yeah, Medali. Yeah. A feature that I have yet to use in this game. <laughs> but we're gonna test it out. Okay, so... Like I said, I've yet to do this before, so I think you just gotta go in. I mean, I think it just requires 50. Okay. Yeah. I... I... No, 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 no. I brought ground terror shards. Yes.
Boom. Let's go. I might actually, by the way, um, have an idea. You're not on my team technically, but because I might end up going for Earthquake first turn, it might be a smart idea to play it safe. And have a Pokemon that I'm okay with dying at the start. Let's do it. Oh, Crispin. Yes. Let's... Let's do this. So, Fetch. I take it there's some messy history between you and Kieran, right? And it sure seems like Drayton's cooking up something fishy, too. Ugh. Everything's getting so complicated. Can't you all just get over yourselves? If you want to say something, just say it. If you want to do something, just do it. I'm not the kind of guy who wastes time sweating this small stuff. I battle because I want to battle. And you know what? That's how it should be. I'm Crispin, the Elite Four rep in this here Savannah biome. I want to win, so that's exactly what I'll do. Now then, time to get cooking. Wait, no, time to start battling. Dang it, they fought this through. Okay. You thought this through, game. Oh, shoot. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Great! He might end up being good to go against Talon for me. Ooh, that's not good. Oh, great. I may have underestimated this <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, cause I can't hit them. Oh, you stupid, stupid bird. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh my gosh! I messed up. I messed up.
Yeah, I knew you were gonna roost. Dang it. Uh, I need to, I need to just lose this battle. <sighs> Shoot! Somehow lived. Okay. Well, it ain't gonna freaking matter anyway. Clap him. Oh, good job, Wendy. You actually uh, did pretty good there. What am I even supposed to do against this thing? I messed up. Yeah, I get it. Just, just end my suffering. Just end my suffering. Kill the Pokemon. That's great. That's not gonna. No. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I could have killed the Talon Flame there, but. Oh, I could have done this. Could have actually gotten rid of that stupid talent flame. Yeah, just just end my suffering. Yo, oh, really? You died, huh? Oh man, mm, this is pretty crazy. Mm. You were overwhelmed by your defeat. I defeated one Pokemon. I at least defeated one. Okay, we're gonna try this again. I have a bit of a strategy this time. And it involves. Just trying to get rid of that freaking talon flame at the start. Yes, okay, I get it, I get it. I have to listen to this text every single time. But yeah, I've got... I've got an idea. And you'll see here what I mean by I've got an idea. That Talon Flame is freaking fast, though.
I want to get rid of that talent thing. Yes! Oh, get rid of the talent, but yes! And then this shouldn't kill the Rotom, but it will kill the talent point. Yes! Okay, that's what I was afraid of. That's fine. Who are you gonna hit? That's fine. I honestly should have given you... I don't know. That's gonna kill. That's fine. Yes, make that slower. Come on, make that slower. Yes! And that's not gonna do much, because, like, quad resist it. Yes! And then I can send you out. You can bug buzz. My strategy is starting to work. Not the best, but... It is starting to work. Oh, great. You absolutely suck. You just suck, don't you? That's fine, Rotom's dead. Which is what I want. Oh no. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is what I am worried about. No, I can't terrestrialize. Yeah, that'll. Ooh, yes. Perfect. Get that thing off the field. Okay. Okay, it's gonna go Earth Power, which is actually pretty fine. Okay, good, 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 good. Can you tank this? If we can get them both dead this turn, that would not be bad. But you'd have to be faster. Yes, yes, okay, that's what I wanted you to do. That's perfect, that's perfect. Yes! Ooh. 
No, 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 no. Okay. Who is he gonna send out? Blast. Blaze a kit. Oh, I think I've got this in the bag. I think I win. Boom! Look at how actually using strategy works. Oh, great. Mm, he's not going to be fire type, is he? He's going to be like fighting type now. No, he's fire type. Okay, if anything, I think he's going to, yeah, hit, hit me. Oh, I'm no longer ground type. I mean, I'm no longer ghost type. Okay. I win. I win! Yes! Huh? Wait, what happened? Where did all that damage come from? And I beat the first league battle. I wanted to win, but I lost. Uh, woo! That was amazing. We cranked the heat all the way up, eh, Fetch? I love battles and I love cooking, because they're both so easy to understand. In battles, you either win or you lose. With cooking, your dish is either spicy or not spicy. Simple, right? But right now, the mood in the league club feels, I don't know, off. It's so frustrating. I just wish I knew we, how we could go back to being the fun club we were before. But hey, didn't mean to douse the flames there. You were real strong, Fetch. Let me see if I can transfer the burning heat from our battle to my frying pan. I'll whip you up something great. <laughs> yeah! Uh, Temper Flame. Ooh. I have no clue how to manage the temperature of anything besides what I'm cooking. So all I can say is, crank up the heat all you want in the BB League, Fetch. I did it. I think that's a good place to wrap up this episode. Oh, wait, no. Yo, champ in the making. That's one Elite Four member beat. Things are looking good for you. Crispin's no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know. We used to all chow down on Crispin's cooking after club activities let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about the way things are, too, in his own way. You might just want to be the one we need to shake up. Well, the one we need to shake things up in the League Club. That's it for me. Good luck with the remaining Elite Three. Yeah, so I think that's where I'm going to end this episode here. We did it. We did it. We are the best. I'm going to work on BP in between episodes. And hopefully I can unlock Tepig, the starter, or Blaziken. One of those two, so we can take on the Steel Trainer next time. <laughs> Sounds like it'll be fun. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.